Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Swarna Mems Biology. In this video, we will discuss about taxonomical age, that is, the age which are necessary for the classification and the identification of the organisms. So, this is the third video related to that lesson, the living world. So, let us continue. So, when you see about the taxonomical aids, so what is meant by taxonomical aids? These are the procedures and the techniques which helps us to tell some information about the specimens. It may be the plants or it may be the animals or anything. So, these are the techniques or the procedures or these are like preserved information which helps us to tell us to have information about all the animals and plants. So one of the thing is herbarium, that is botanical garden. So what is meant by herbarium? So it is a storehouse of the collected specimens, that is a plant specimens, which are dried and preserved on the sheets. Means like, so we will be taking the sheets, okay? And we will be uh, drying the plant specimens and we will be attaching them to these sheets. So herbarium is like a uh, storehouse of the plant specimens which contain dried and the preserved uh, plants on the sheets. See. So here the plant specimens are dried and they are preserved on the sheets. So these are called as herbarium which helps us to study about the characters of that plant. So likewise we can uh, means we can know the name of the plant we can uh, know even the local name and which family it belongs and when it is collected, the date and the place uh, where it is collected and who has collected them. So likewise, we can see a variety of the plants and animals which we are not seeing in our day-to-day -day life. We can find out in the herbariums. So another taxonomical aid is botanical garden. So we know so many botanical gardens. Uh, so these are the specialized gardens which have the collection of the plants. Uh, these are the collection of living plants for our reference. So, so many botanical gardens are there which we will be seeing. So one of the uh, important botanical gardens is in Havra. Okay. So many botanical gardens which helps us to study a variety of the plants which are uh, not found in our places. So likewise, we can know the name of the plant and we can uh, know the family and we can know the characters of the plant, etc. So let us take a small concept test now. So botanical gardens have, so what they have, collection of the living plants, collection of the dead plants, both A and B, none of the above. So the correct answer is, just now we have seen, it is a collection of living plants. Okay, so botanical garden, these are the specialized gardens which has the collection of living plants for our reference to study about the characters and the name of the plants. So the another taxonomical aid is zoological park and even the museums. Okay, so now let us study about the museum. So what is a museum? So it, uh, it has a collection of preserved plants and animal specimens for our reference and study. So, all these are the specimens which are preserved for our study. Okay, how the animals are, how the, what are the characters of the animals. So, we can know the names of the animals which we will not be seeing, uh, seeing them in our day-to-day -day life. So, all these we can see in our museums which contain the preserved plants and the animal specimens. So, how they are preserved. So likewise, these are all called as specimens. Okay. So uh, how they are preserved? They are preserved uh, in a jar, in a preservative solution. Normally, it will be a formaldehyde. Okay. So museum. So museum also contains preserved specimens. Okay. So this is one of the museum which contains the skeleton of uh, the uh, animal dinosaur. So likewise, we can know that animals were use it to exist previously. So these are the characters of that animal. So this is about the description of that animal. So all these we can be knowing after seeing that animal in a museum. Okay. Now, 
coming to the another taxonomical aim. So another example of the taxonomical aim is zoological parks. So this is a place where wild animals are kept in the conditions similar to that of the natural habitat, but it is under the human care. Okay, so juice, which we will be uh, seeing. So these are all uh, helping us to preserve the animals, the animals uh, without extinction. So we are uh, providing the animals what conditions they want uh, uh, naturally. Means we are uh, helping the animal to exist naturally, but we are conserving the animal without existence. So zoological parks, these are the places where the wild animals are kept in the conditions which are similar to that of the natural habitat, but it is under the human care. So all the animals are kept in the zoos. That is zoological parks. Why we are keeping them? To know about their habits and to know about the behavior, to know about the characteristics of the animal. So another taxonomic aid is key. So what is key? It is used for the information of the plants and the animals based on the similarities and dissimilarities. Based on that only, we can identify and we can characterize the animal. We can keep them in a particular group or particular order. Okay. So it is a key. So these are on contrasting character. Okay. Uh, for example, if we see a duck and if we see a hen, both are belonging to birds. But if we see some distinguishing character between a bird and a hen, Okay, even though both belongs to the, um, uh, both are birds, ducks can swim and hen, hens can't swim. So it is some of the distinguishing character. And snake and lizard, both are belonging to, uh, that is family reptiles. But again, there is a distinguishing character between the snakes and the lizards. So, why, so what they are kept in the different orders. Okay, based on that distinguishing characters. So these are the keys which helps in distinguishing the animal. It means, uh, for example, here it is uh, um, swimming. The duck can swim in the water, but hen can't. So it is a pair of the contrasting character which helps us for characterizing the animal. For example, snake and the lizard crawling. So snakes can crawl, but lizards can't crawl. So this is one of the distinguishing character which helps in uh, identification, the characterizing of the animal. So it is a, a case or one of the taxonomic aids which helps in the characterization of the animals. For example, here, if we see the feathers, based on the feathers, we will be grouping the animals, um, the organisms. If feathers are present, they belong to the birds. If feathers are not present, they belong to reptiles. Okay, to this it is correct. Again, even though they are belonging to the birds, even though, even though they are belonging to the birds, again, there is a distinguishing character that whether it can swim or not. When it is swimming, so it is belonging to one class and if it is not swimming, it belongs to the another class. Okay. So likewise, we are distinguishing the animal. We are characterizing the animal based on the contrasting character. Same here. If it is a, a reptiles also, okay. If it is, if it has legs, yes, it belongs to one class, like lizard. If it doesn't have legs, it crawls, then it belongs to the other class. So these are the contrasting characters, which helps us for characterizing the animals into different groups. It is easy for us to study. So these are called as keys. So now let us take a small concept test. A museum has a collection of preserved plants, collection of preserved animals, both A and B, none of the above. So museum has both collection of preserved plants as well as collection of preserved animals. Okay. So this is uh, the answer that is C. So let us see the summary of this uh, entire topic that is taxonomical aids. So these taxonomical aids are the procedures or the technique to show, to store and preserve the information as well as the specimens. So one of the thing is herbarium. It is a storehouse of the collected uh, plants. So that is a plant specimen which are pressed. That is dried plants are pressed and are preserved on the sheets. And another taxonomical aid is botanical garden. So which contain collection of living plants for the reference. Another taxonomical aid is museum, which contain the preserved plants or the animal specimens for the study and reference. And another one is geological parts. 
So zoological parks, these are the places where the animals are, are kept. In their, uh, means, uh, they are kept in the protected environments under the human care. It is uh, in order to study their food habits and behavior. So another taxonomical area is key. It is used for the identification of the animals and the plants based on the similarities and dissimilarities, which helps us for the study of the animals. So this is about the summary of this lesson. So by this video, we have completed the entire lesson, The Living World. Okay, so uh, if you have not seen the before videos, please check the before videos where I have covered first, what is the living world? Then I have covered about the taxonomy, that is characterization, identification uh, of the organisms. Now, in this video, I have discussed about the taxonomical aids which are helping in the uh, classification and the identification and the study of the organisms. Hope you liked this video. So in my next video is on this living world. So hope you like this video. If you like, please like, share and subscribe my channels for Nana's Biology. Thank you.